I've had a truly bittersweet, mostly bitter relationship with coffee and energy drinks in my younger adult life. Coffee seemed to hold me together in a sense during my worst chronic fatigue symptoms, but in hindsight, it also just totally ran me ragged. I live in a colder climate and the winters here are beautiful yet rigid and bold, and I tend to want to lean into a cozy sense of comfort. I've had to totally rework my life the last few years in order to heal and regenerate my body from the ground up. In doing that, I've had to learn this delicate balance between honoring my own longing for a deep sense of comfort and flow in these winter months versus maintaining the important discipline in keeping my body calm, cultivating a safe haven where my nervous system could maintain rest and softness no matter the waters. When I'm feeling the craving for a coffee type of drink, which is pretty often these days, I make a batch of this super special herbal coffee blend. So here's the recipe that I've been using. It's a half a cup of chicory, a half a cup of dandelion root, one quarter cup red rooibos tea, two tablespoons of cacao powder. Mine is a reishi mushroom cacao. You can use nibs if you'd like here too. One tablespoon of chaga mushroom, one teaspoon of maca, one teaspoon cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon cardamom, and a quarter teaspoon of a high quality sea salt if you like that. So then I sift this all around pretty well so it's all mixed in together. And I suggest adding two and a half to three tablespoons of this mix. If you want to maintain all the benefits of the chaga mushroom in here, you're going to want to use 80 degrees Celsius for the temperature. If you're not worried about it, you can steep it at boiling and it's no big thing. So steep this anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours, or you can even do an overnight stronger infusion. And this is what it looks like after just 15 minutes. It's super bold, bitter, and delicious. Sometimes I drink it black, just like this. But I'm also gonna show you my favorite way to prepare this brew lately as a latte. So I pour the whole steeped pot into my high-speed blender and make sure you do get all the sediment out of there. It's all the nice blends of powders that you've used. I add four to five soaked and skinned hazelnuts, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, two tablespoons of coconut sugar. I really love coconut sugar lately for warm drinks. It adds this slight maltiness, a little bit of vanilla extract, and I found this high quality soy milk recently. So this functions as a little frothy treat for me. And a tablespoon of dried coconut creamer. And then I blend it all up. There are really endless combinations you can use to make this frothy and delicious and flavorful in your own special way. So play around with different things and experiment. This space honestly seems to create a perfect little latte every single time. If you want an even more full-bodied and strong brew, try using one full cup of chicory in this batch instead of a half. Then I top this one with some pumpkin spice. Yeah, I did that. And just spend some slow time thoroughly enjoying this frothy, delicious herbal coffee. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Warm little latte hugs until I see you next time.